Liver cancer is difficult to diagnose, but that may change with a recent Singapore discovery. Doctors here have found that aggressive liver cancer cells behave like fetal cells. These cancer cells secrete a protein found in the blood of pregnant women so that they escape detection by the body's immune system. For more on how this could potentially help with early diagnosis of liver cancer, we have principal investigator of the study, Professor Pierce Chow, with us right now. He is a liver surgeon with the National Cancer Center here in Singapore. Professor Chow, good evening. Thank you for joining us. Tell us more about your study and how it was done. Well, thank you for inviting me to your program. Uh, well, this, this study is actually uh, a study that involves many people on the island, and I'm here tonight mainly to represent my team because we have got a very big multidisciplinary team. Uh, what we did was that we looked at liver cancer that is uh, surgically resected from patients, and we took samples from them, and we divided the cell types into different types, and then we looked into the sequencing of the cells and by doing so, we made a few uh, quite fascinating discoveries uh, about liver cancer because it's been long known that liver cancer is one of the cancers that reverts back to a fetal stage. You know, the fetus, as you know, is a baby growing in the womb of the mother. And what we found is that these fetal cells, uh, fetal uh, liver, actually have cell types that allows them to suppress the immunity of the mother's immune system so that they can grow better. Uh, because the fetus is actually a foreign body to the mother, but it's not, not rejected by, by the immune system. But when the liver is developed, all these features are, are gone. But interestingly, when we look at liver cancer that we, we, we investigated, the features of the fetal liver reappears in the liver cancer. And, uh, and these same cells also suppress the immunity of the patient's body to allow it to grow better. And uh, so this is fascinating because it allows us new ways of uh, firstly treating the patients and potentially, of course, also better ways of detecting the liver tumor while it's still growing or very early. Uh, Professor, is this a possible behavior for perhaps other types of cancer besides liver cancer? I, I guess, you know, we want to think about the potential for your study. Well, well, this is the first detailed study on the, how this oncofetal programming comes about. And uh, while this study is on liver cancer, essentially the same approach can be used for other cancer types. So we, are, we, we think this is potentially very important, not only for liver cancer, but for other cancers as well, because other types of cancers also have features that make them look as if they are reverting back to a fetal stage. Professor Child, liver cancer, as we know, is a very serious condition. How common is it, though, here in Singapore and perhaps in general in Asia? Well, it is uh, unfortunately more common in Asia than elsewhere. In fact, in Asia, we find about 80 percent of all liver cancers. Uh, in Singapore, because of immunization, it has decreased a bit over the years. But Another etiology or another reason for having liver cancer other than hepatitis B or C is now on the increase, and this is really fatty liver. So fatty liver is really common in Singapore now. And in fact, most uh, experts think that the number of liver cancer patients will increase over the next uh, 10 to 20 years rather than decrease. So it is a very important cancer. Uh, Professor Chow, uh, I, I'm just wondering, I know it's early days yet, but how uh, can we expect, you know, the diagnosis and the treatment of liver cancer to change uh, with your discovery? Well, like you said, these are very early days, uh, but uh, there's a possibility that we can, if a doctor, uh, by doing a blood test or monitoring the blood of a patient, can detect factors in the blood that are related to this oncofetal reprogramming that we are seeing in our research, then potentially a doctor can detect that in this patient, a cancer is developing now. And in fact, he could actually start therapy to prevent this from happening. And to be able to prevent a cancer from happening is huge. It will make a huge impact on the way we treat patients with cancer, not only in liver cancer, but other types of cancers as well. That is good news indeed, uh, Professor Chow. Thank you for sharing this optimistic outlook. Professor Pierce Chow, he is the principal investigator and liver surgeon at the National 
Cancer Center Institute.